The San Yun Performing Arts Festival is a journey to the Middle Kingdom without leaving South Florida. And here is Mallory Imbernon to tell you why Shen Yun is a show you must see. Well, Mallory, it's good to see you. It's been a year, but the fact that you're back means that Shen Yun is back in town, which is very exciting. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So for the people who don't know, for the viewers who have not seen Shen Yun, don't know too much about it, tell them. What's it all about? Uh, Shen Yun mission is to revive classical Chinese dance and traditional Chinese culture. So they do this performing arts. They are like the dancing. Um, they also have a live orchestra that is a mix of East Western instruments and uh, leading by traditional Chinese instruments. And they also interact with a 3D background. They tell like different legends and different stories from ancient China up to today. And the show is action-packed and it's diverse. There's dance, there's martial arts. Martial arts, in fact, are, it's kind of very similar to dance, right? Yeah, the word um, in Chinese for martial arts would the same word as uh, dance. And um, the origins of classical Chinese dance um, started with martial arts. They, um, at that time, through the different dynasties, the martial arts um, started to perform. And a lot of their moves got into entertainment and they evolve through different dynasties and the perfecter itself into classical Chinese dance. Tell us about the performers and their training. Um, you have to perform um, and learn this stuff since a very early age. They train like over eight hours a day. Um, they, um, classical Chinese dance is not only like the form that it takes or the technicality that it takes, the flipping and jumping, but the most important part of it is what they call the bearing. Um, the Chinese culture believe that you have to cultivate your mind and your body to make yourself sincere. And also the dance, they say that if you perform the movement without the inner meaning behind it, that it doesn't really work. So the maximum expression, you have to bring that up. So there, there's like this spirituality behind it. So the, the dancers themselves, they follow um, classical Chinese spirituality, self-cultivation in their daily life so they can bring into the stage this um, expression into the dance. Uh, and I think that's really interesting because it's not like a Broadway show where actors audition and then three months later they do the show and then the show's over and they leave and they go do something else. I mean, these performers, like you said, from an early age, they're learning specifically what it takes to do this show, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's, I think, a huge really nice um, you know, piece that this show offers that others don't is that these, these performers live it, right? Yeah. yeah, every aspect of their life. Every aspect of their life. What does the term Shen Yun mean? It means the beauty of divines being dancing. Okay, and this show is for all ages? Kids would like this show as well, right? Yes, um, usually kids is recommended for five years up. They have like mini stories, they are very short, and they're very educational, and you can learn about the whole history through it, but they are very, very um, easy to understand mm -hmm. for kids. Mm -hmm. Is there um, spoken word, or is singing, dancing, how does you it You have uh, many uh, dance, they, um, that they tell the stories through the dancing, but uh, before the dance starts, you have a spoken person that would explain to you the meaning of the dance and the story behind it, that they perform and they go so back and so forth, and they have some, uh, um, musical solos in the middle of it. Like, and I know that there is a, a sort of a heavenly spiritual component as well, right? That's a, a big piece of this. Yes, um, traditional Chinese culture, um, the, they believe that um, the Chinese, the first believe that the culture was a gift from the divine. Um, they have this belief that the culture was a gift from the heaven and um, it was transmitted from heavens to the Chinese people through different dynasties. So like the entire Chinese culture is based on spiritual values. And you can see this from um, the Yellow Emperor, the beginning of the Chinese culture. He taught following the Tao. He taught Taoism in a way. But it was later recollected and systematized by the, uh, the sage uh, Lao Tzu. So they um, always um, believe in returning to the original true self. Wow. Later, um, Confucian, who was at the same time of Lao Tzu, he um, found the Confucianism based on the Taoist teaching. They talked about propriety and wisdom, the ethics between family members, and the ethics between the government. And then you have Buddhism that t teaches compassion and benevolence. Wow, so the, it's a history lesson, it's a spirituality yeah. lesson, yeah. it's a cultural lesson. Uh, and it, it's touring right now, uh, it's coming to South Florida. When is it going to be here? In uh, Broward Performing Centers, January 8th to January 10th. 
and that's a part of a bigger international tour, national tour. Where is Shen Yun going to be? They tour worldwide. They spend six months touring and six months preparing for the next show. They, every year they change the, the dance and they change the topics. They come up with new material. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, so they tour worldwide. So you brought some instruments. Uh, tell yeah. us about these. Uh, here we have uh, the pipa. As I mentioned, um, the Chinese believe that everything had a connection with the heavens. So um, they, what would be similar to us, but it's in Chinese units. Um, it would be like three feet tall in Chinese units. <laughs> um, the three represents heaven, earth, and man. Um, the f what would be for us like five inches represents the five elements. And it has four strings. And uh, the four strings represents the four seasons. So it's like built to align in heavens. And you can find the pipa in the ancient paintings um, of the heavenly beings. Uh -huh. You can find this instrument. It's uh -huh. about 2,000 years old. So interesting. Okay. And we have this, which uh, I just think it's a gong, but is it something uh, <laughs> more interesting than a, than a gong? I'm sure it is. It's a miniature gong. You like to play it? Of course. Who wouldn't like to play the gong? Of course. Yeah. No. We'll do it. We'll do it. All right. Should I just hit it or what? Yeah. Try to hit it really softly. Really softly. All right. Can you hand me that, please? All right. Really softly. That's really softly. How do you feel? It's very, it's very calming. It's very yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now hit it really hard. Oh yeah, it's power, <laughs> power. I love that. That's great. How like, do you feel? Strong. Yeah. Now, what would you say if you wa were walking by and then suddenly? I would stop. I would, I would pay attention. <laughs> yeah. How, how much? What? Every, how am I supposed to feel? In the past, whenever the emperor passed by, um, they have to make room so the way to let people know that who was passing by was carrying a huge gun so you literally have to stop everything that you were doing yeah and of course step to him. so the gun like enhances the power of music but also has like this meaning of sickness and they play like what what how they want you to feel calm excited power sacred solemnity that's cool. I'm going to walk around with that all day, just announcing my presence. All right, if people want to get tickets to see this amazing show, how can they do that? Uh, go to shenyun.com. Um, you can find your local show. You can just go directly to the Broward Performance Center. They also sell it at the Aventura Mall. You can pass by. There's a booth close to Macy's. Okay, outstanding. Well, as we say goodbye, I I'll let you do the honors. You can bang the gong. Go see the Shen Yun show. Stop what you're doing and do it. Mallory, great to see you, and, uh, you. and I'm going to be at the show, so we'll, I'll see you there. See you there.